This next act, it's his first time here um, performing on this very stage. So let's make him feel really super welcome and wonderful. I know this wonderful Cranker crowd can do it. Put your hands together and give it up for Zach Watson! <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys. How you doing? Hey. Alrighty. So I actually have a job. I'm not just uh, doing an arts degree like a lot of other people you might know. Um, <laughs> but my job is I work in a pub and I've gotten to the point where it, I get to say, no, that guy's too drunk, let's not let him in. No, that girl's too ugly, let's tell her she's too drunk and not let her in. Um, <laughs> and the other week, uh, I got to kick out this old boy, he fell asleep at the bar, and so I've sent my security guard to do it. And I'm standing at the door, and he's walked up, and on his way up, I've sort of looked and noticed that all down the front of him, there was a massive wet patch, he'd just fucking pissed his pants. <laughs> And that was kind of cool until he got to me and uh, put his hand on me and that kind of creeped me out a little bit and then stated, sometimes you just piss your pants. <laughs> and I thought, right on. Uh, yeah, that's a good mantra to live by. I, I no longer have to make excuses like that I have a fucking drinking problem or you know, blame it on the dog when the girlfriend asks, who pissed on the fucking lounge room floor? <laughs> But working in hospitality has been pretty cool. Uh, it gives me every Monday and Tuesday off. Um, <laughs> I got shit-faced uh, last Tuesday uh, morning. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't normally wear a watch. Um, but I was sitting in my uh, kitchen, and I went and had a look in the cupboard, and, and found this glass. And on this glass, it had a line, and, and it said, uh, Ryan son. And I had to think back. Think back to when I was a kid and I was obsessed with the Karate Kid. And I don't know about you guys, but the Karate Kid didn't only teach me wax on, wax off, or paint the fence, or the crane fucking <laughs> kick. It also taught me Japanese. Because <laughs> Ryan's son, Ryan's son, I'm pretty sure, means... Mr. Lion. And the whole reason I think that it means, well, I know that it means Mr. Lion, is because Mr. Miyagi calls Daniel, Daniel's son. And Daniel's son calls Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi. So therefore, out of respect, Mr. Miyagi calls Daniel, Daniel's son. So that means Mr. Daniel. So I knew fucking Japanese and I had no idea. <laughs> and then it came to my realisation that the acid I took eight hours early was still... <laughs> now guys, I'm 29, so I'm starting to make some really good life choices like taking acid on a Monday. Um, <laughs> my best friend asked me to be his uh, best man at his wedding a few months ago. And that was really cool, and I, I did a really good job, like I normally do with everything. Um, and, <laughs> until at the reception, I decided to take ecstasy. Now, I know what you're thinking, great life choices, Zach. Yes, yes, it was a great life choice. Right? Because everything was cool until I went outside and had a cigarette. And then the groom's 17-year-old sister came up to me and asked to borrow my lighter. And things got a bit weird because she put her hand on my leg and I kind of freaked out and ran away. Now, most of the time when I'm on ecstasy, everything feels great. But having a 17-year-old's hand on your leg kind of felt like jail. <laughs> so I ran off and got stranded in this uh, playground. And I know you're thinking, what are you doing in the playground, Zach? And I kind of thought to myself that it was a safe place. Then I kind of thought to myself, hang on, what am I going to do if the police rock up? How am I going to explain this? Well, uh, I'm just a 29-year-old white male with a moustache on ecstasy hanging out in the playground. I don't think that would have went down too sweet. So I left back and went back to the party. I got extra pissed. I took some more ecstasy. I cracked onto the bride's... Mum. <laughs> because I make good life choices. <laughs> then I proceeded to piss my pants because, ladies and gentlemen, the moral of this story is sometimes you just piss your pants. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Woo! Woo!